everybody. Today is National Day of Prayer and May 3rd, 2018. And I'll just let, give you an idea. The, the whole country right now celebrates and, and usually participates in the prayer. I'll give you the history real quick. The, in 1775, the Congress came together and asked the colonies to pray for wisdom as they're forming a new nation. And then in 1952, a joint resolution from the Congress and signed by President Truman declared the National Day of Prayer. In 1988, President uh, Reagan uh, declared that it would be the first Thursday of May. So here it is, the first Thursday of May, and places all over the country, in, in Clark County, in Springfield, they are celebrating the National Day of Prayer. I want to talk to you a few things real quick, and then we're going to pray for a couple of things. Uh, one of the things is we got to remember that we have, as this country, the U.S., is probably known in the founding, the foundations of this country is known as a nation that prayed. And the power of prayer is pretty evident in the fact that America, known as a God-fearing country, has its problems all over, of course. But inside the problems, there's been a lot of people that have stood in the gap and prayed and uh, we've seen God's blessing on us. We have the highest quality of life in the world. You know, food, water, there's many people that dig wells. I've got friends that go over in different areas of the world and help dig wells when people would walk for six hours to go find a bucket of water to bring back to their village. They spent their entire day going to get water and coming back and do it over again every day. We have the luxury of water everywhere. We have food everywhere. We have electricity and all kinds of means. We have the highest quality of living in the world. Uh, more people want to come to America than any other country. And right now, poor Syrians, thousands, are walking across the border trying to escape and flee from their country. They leave everything where they don't have anything and just to get out of their country. We, we don't see the need. We don't see people lined up by the thousands leaving everything to flee from this country. Uh, but people are just dying to get in here all the time. In Syria, too, as well, can you imagine our own country gassing our own people, adult men, women, and children being gassed, poisoned by our own government? These are some of the things people are facing in other nations. There's 1.4 billion citizens in China who will now be monitored by their own government. Uh, the, a, a Chinese citizen said, my life is very inconvenient, he told Newsweek. I'm also not allowed to, to purchase property. I can't send my daughter to a good school or travel on high-speed trains. See, again, we have luxury of freedom like you wouldn't believe compared to what other countries are like. In England, a family wanted to flee to the U.S. for life-saving medical treatment, but the, gover denied, the government in the U.K. denied them to travel to America and their 11-month-old uh, you know, he was going to die, and it was possible that the treatment in the U.S. may save his life. Not guaranteed, but the government denied even a chance to go to find out if they could save his life. In America, you know, we can travel outside this country to seek for medical help or stay inside this. So there's a lot of things going on in this world today that's, are, that's amazingly unfair, unjust. And America has injustice. America has problems. But it's not even, it's no, our problems are not comparable to most countries out there. So we need to be very thankful. So first thing we're going to do is pray over the blessings of the United States, our country. And uh, then we're going to pray for unity. Uh, we're going to pray for the leaders over our country. And I'm just going to open my eyes because i got to read what i got to read here to pray. So then we're going to pray for you and your family. So, dear Lord, I just pray right now to have your hand on the United States. We ask for your blessing. We know we need to have it. We need your help. Our country has got rough patches going on right now, so help us, Lord. One of the things, Lord, obviously, is we're divided. We have anger and we have division like never before. Or, or it's pretty bad, Lord. It's probably, I know, it's probably been worse at times, but, Lord, it's not that great. So help us start to love each other. We have a different viewpoints all over the place. We are calling each other names and pointing at each other all the time. And I just pray, Lord, help us to become a family, to come together, Lord. Soften our hearts for each other and, you know, be nice and gentle to each other, Lord. We pray, Lord, for the leaders that are influencing our country, the leaders in the government, the leaders 
in law enforcement, in the prisons, in the jails, the leaders, uh, the, the, in the education. We pray, Lord, that they will do things with truth and honor and justice, what's right for the people. And Lord, if they refuse to do that and if they are doing their things for their own deals and doing their own little misguided ways and stuff to hurt people, I pray they're taken out. They don't get in office, they resign, or they are fired from those positions that hurt other people, Lord. So help us, Lord, to have wise leaders, to have people that are in leadership that have the best interest for overall everybody. And lastly, Lord, we just pray for every guy and lady that's listening right now, every inmate right now. In the name of Jesus, move upon them. Move upon their health, Lord. Move upon their mind, Lord. I pray for their case, Lord, whatever they're dealing with in the court system. Help. Let them have favor. Let the judges look and say, you know, I'm not sure why I'm going to do this for you. Probation, parole, whatever. Let them say, you know, I, I want to go out of the way. I want to help you. I pray, Lord, just help, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Healing and some brokenness, Lord. I'm sure, Lord, there may be some divide between them and loved ones. And I pray, Lord, that divide to be healed. Make a miracle happen, Lord, where there may not feel like that they've had a good relationship. Heal relationships in their family. Take care of so many kids that have their mom, their dad in our county jail. Take care of those kids, Lord, I pray, Lord. Whisper in their ears that mom, dad, although not there right now, loves them, Lord. Let them know that. Let them have a sense of mom and dad is kind of hugging them even though they're not even there. So, Lord, again, it's, an op it's a great opportunity to speak to everybody in this jail, and I pray blessings. blessings. Lord, also lift up the deputies, and there's a relationship there, and it can be tough. I pray blessings upon the deputies and their families. And I pray that there's uh, justice treatment, good treatment, fair treatment, Lord. I pray, Lord, for the inmates to reach out, go out of their way, and the deputies to go out of their way. And may there be a harmony, a harmony, peace upon our jail. In your name, Jesus, amen. Thanks, guys, and uh, have a good day.